Hello and welcome back to the James White Dragon channel. It is that time again for another mashed up Yu-Gi-Oh! profile. Today we have two awesome decks mashed up. We have Elemental Heroes and Dogmatica. Dogmatica? Dogmatica. Ethan, what have you done this time? What have you done now? This time I have... Well, I haven't even come up with this idea. Heroes, someone told me to build a hero deck, my good friend Jonathan. And I went, you know what? Why not put it with Dogmatica? Because I love Dogmatica. I love it! It's really good. But then after reading half of the hero cards, you can only special dark heroes for the rest of the blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Now, we don't care about that. Don't care. Because we're playing the Dark Lore Turbo Engine, where all we care about is making Dark Lore, because Dark Lore is oppressed and is a very good card. So yeah, this is Dark Lore Turbo featuring Dogmatica. Dogmatica? So let's start things off. We have the one Fleur. Fleur's good. I like Fleur. Fleur outs Dragoon. And she is a non-target for monster effect negates, which is always good. And she comes on a 2-5 body, which... That's pretty good! ...is pretty good. And whenever she attacks, she gains 500 attack, along with any other Dogmatica monster on the board. So she has three effects, which means she's absolutely busted. busted. And we have two Honest Neos. Two Honest Neos. I love Honest Neos. This card is just absolutely brilliant. Whoever thought of making a hero monster gain an extra 2-5 attack because they don't OTK enough is absolutely mental. And thank you, Konami. Thank you! This card helps to protect your Dark Lord by battle. I wish they had a discard, can't be destroyed by card effects this turn instead. But unfortunately, hero's biggest weakness is and always will be Dark Hole and Regeki. We're all gonna die. So we just have to play with the protection we do have and Honest Neos is good at what it does. Okay, then we have the three Ecclesia. He is one of the best cards in the entire deck. Three Ecclesia. I like seeing Ecclesia. Ecclesia is good. It's good. It's good. It's good. <laughs> Ecclesia can special summon if you control an extra deck monster, which you often do in the form of Dark Lord. She can then add either a Punishment, which is a pop two with your Entuses, or helps you get searches in ways of dumping your Shadow monsters. And she can't be destroyed by battle with extra deck monsters. So if all your opponent has is extra deck monsters and they run no main deck monster over 1-5, they don't be out in your, your girl here with a giant hammer. Elemental hero, solid soldier. Yeah, one solid soldier, just because sometimes you don't have spells for summon a monk, and if you have the e-call and you've already got the shadow mist, it's another way to special him, and when he's special, you get to add your mask change. So, yeah, I'm just playing him really as another search for e-call if you open up your shadow mist or your honest neos. Three element hero shadow mist. Three shadow mist. He, he the main boy. Him and mask change is what's going to win you most games. It's contrary to popular belief. It's not the dogmatica stuff that's going to win you games. It's your boy Sh shadow mist here. When he's special summoned, he adds mask change which is why we're playing all these ways to special him. You've got your hero lives, you summon amongst your solid soldier. Just an all-round good card. Plus, if he leaves the field, you get to add your honest Neos, which just helps with keeping him alive. Awesome. Then we have the three summon a monk. Yeah, three old monkey boy. Discard a spell, special summon a level four monster from debt, special summon your shadow mist. And then when he special summons, you get to add your mask change. And you see where this is going. You get to make Dark Lore, and that's good. It's good. There we have 3E, e, Emergency Call. Yeah, Emergency Call, more often than not, search for the Soldier or the Honest Neos, because most of the times to kickstart your plays, if you've specialed your Shadow Mist, you have to mask change that turn so you can special summon your Ecclesia, so you have an extra deck monster on board, so you don't get his effect to search the Honest Neos, so the E-Call is in there for extra Honest Neos. Okay, then we have 3 Nadir. You don't play Dogmatica at all and not play this card. This card is... <laughs> dump it's op you get to dump extra deck you get to add the you then get the extra deck dump effect and oh the card's just all round good play three in every deck regardless do it then we have a hero lives hero lives wish this card was at more than one then we wouldn't need stupid summon amongst but hero lives is good if you see it half your life points for a dark law seems pretty fair to me cards busted, busted. okay then we have three pot of extravagance 
I'm I'm loving Extravagance at the moment. It's just a good card, especially in this where the only thing you're really making an extra deck is Dark Law, the occasional Anki, and the occasional Winder. Everything else you don't care about. And as long as you have one of each of those, you're absolutely golden. So Extravagance is just a draw two for essentially free. And then one upstart goblin. One upstart because I was struggling with another card to put in. This could be another strike, could be another solid soldier or something else. It could be anything, but I have chosen an upstart so I get to play a 39 card deck. Then we have Mask Chain. Mask change is super, super duper OP. It makes you dark, and I hear Dark Claw's a pretty good card. Uh, when you special your Shadow Mist, you get to add it, so it's so it's searchable. You still play three, because the card is absolutely dumb. Three Forbidden Droplet. Droplet in this, I feel, is just good, especially if you're going second. Like, you know, you go summon a monk F, they go in perm, you go, ha ha, lol, Droplet tribute. It's just good. Plus, you can send stuff you're not using anymore. Like, not normal Solid Soldier, spe special Shadow Mist, and then you're just not using the Solid Soldier anymore. So why not tribute him with Droplets and get a negate? Okay, then we have two, a Dragon a Prison of Snow and Ice. Good old Ice Dragon's Prison. This card is just good. The main problem is them getting rid of Dark Law. So the traps are just mainly ways to protect Dark Law, and Ice Dragon's Prison helps get rid of problematic monsters from Grave, and in turn problematic monsters from the field. So it's a good card. Punishment. Two Punishment. Uh, I like Two Punishment. I wouldn't play three. I wouldn't play one. Again, you can dump your Entis. You get to pop two. You can search it off a Cleese. You can dump Apcolone to add Schism. You can dump Ash Dragon to add Fleur. It's just got so many uses, which makes it a dumb card. That's dumb. The one should do. Rook. Who knew that a card that would brick you so much would be so goddamn impactful? Anyone who plays or has played Brilliant Fusion. But Schism is just... Being able to make Winder on top of any board is really good. Now imagine having no Grave and only being able to special once. It doesn't seem like it's going to end up well for you this game. So I put it in there mainly because I had the extra deck space and I was playing the Dogmatica engine anyway, so why the hell not? Two Strike and Three Judgment. Two Strike, Three Judgment. This is just my standard five-card Solemn Brigade. These are the ones I like. I like Strike because it helps deal with problematic monsters and I like Judgment because it helps to deal with them pesky lightning storms and regekis that keep ruining my good Christian hero boards. Now we're onto the extra deck, so we have the one El Shadow Construct. One Construct because, eh, it's not the best. You can make it off your Rook to send, I don't know, like a Golden Lord if it's giving you grief or something, but it's mainly there as a dump target to shuffle stuff like Rooks back to hand. We have two Mask Hero Anki. I love me a bit of Anki. You go Normal Summon Shadow Mist. This is like, say, say they have an empty board for whatever reason, they're trash or they're playing a bad deck or they brick. You can go normal something Shadow Mist because you've got Mask Change in hand because you're a good player. You go attack for a thousand, go Mask Change into Anki, and then they magically have a monster. And you destroy their monster by a battle with Anki, and then you search another Mask Change, and then you change it into Dark Lord, and you poke for another 2 4. It's just lots and lots of damage. He's good to help close out games, and he can attack directly for half damage. He can attack directly for 1 4, mm -hmm. which is, I hear attacking directly is good for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, then we have two. Bastard. Ash Dragon. Two. Ash Dragon. He is one Ashy boy. You dump him off your Nadir to add your Fleur, and then your Ecclese will add your Punishment. You get the best of both worlds. You don't really use it for anything. It is just a dumpity dump target. Cool, cool, cool. Then we have two Ap Cologne. Two Ap Cologne, because you dump the Ap Cologne, and then you get to add Rook. And making a Winder is good against a lot of decks. So we play the two Ap Cologne just so we don't banish them all off Extravagance. You could play three if you were that scared, but I ain't scared. We have three Dark Law. Dark Law. Big old daddy Dark Law. The absolute bossiest boss monster. Just when your opponent adds a card, you get to banish a card from their hand. That's just good on its own. But any card sent to your opponent's grave is banished instead? Oh, busted. busted. You want to summon this and you want to watch the tears well up in your opponent's eyes as they realise they can't play. Speaking of cards that mean you can't play, El Shadol Winder. Yay, Winder. See, if Dark Lord means you can't play and Winder means you can't play, stick them together and what can you do? You can flip the goddamn table because you're not going to win, I'm telling you now. Two Winder because you don't want to banish again. You don't really want to banish them all off of Extravagance. You could play three if you were scared, but I'm not. <laughs> Okay, then we have Entis times two. Two Entis. Entis is to send off Punishment or to send off Nadir. Nadir going second is really good, sending Entis, because you get to add, you get a pop. Punishment dump Entis becomes pop a monster and then pop any card on the board. Usually one of them pesky back rows that we don't like. 
uh, but it is literally there as a dump target. You do not make it. You don't make synchros or XYZ monsters in this deck. Okay, and last but not least, we have Extra Hero Wonder Driver. This, I was just having a little muck around with. He's come up once, and he's surprisingly hard to make. He's come up once and managed to help me win a game just because he sets your mask changes back from Grave. Once you've gone through all three, it's quite hard to then do anything with the hero engine, so you need to win quickly. But yeah, the ability to add mask change back is good. He could be anything. He could be another Winder, another Anki, another Construct app Cologne. This is really a little flex spot, but I'm testing him out, seeing if he's, if he's any good. Speaking of testing, it's time to go see whether this deck is a success or a mashed up failure. Let's go see. Welcome to the duel field, fellow duelist. We have a rock, we have a paper and a scissors. Ethan, what do we choose? Uh, the rock, obviously. You were wrong. What oh, maybe not. Uh, the scissors. You were right. Haha, <laughs> algorithms. Uh, we will go first. And we'll draw... Pure Dogmatica, let's go. Um, I guess we activate Nadir. And we send App Cologne. Buy App Cologne. And we add uh, another Ecclesi. No app cologne F. No. We just want him in grave. Um now we're going to normal summon Ecclese. Because that's all we can do. Hello Ecclese, how are you today? We're gonna add a flur off Ecclese. And then we're gonna set the droplets and the punishment and we're gonna pass because we don't have a dark monster in grave to use the schism, so there's no point in setting it. Oh, Photon Thrasher. Uh, that's fine. Leave that. I don't care about your photons. Um, chain the Punishment. Targeting the B. Dumb. No, on that. And then dump the Entis. And you're going to go do yes, and we're going to do Entis F to pop the Photon Thrasher. Buy Photon Thrasher. Uh, no, don't, don't change that. Ah, fat pass turn. Oh, we drew a Shadow Mist. Uh, that's actually really, really bad. Normals. Mm, do we normal Shadow Mist? I don't know. Do you know what we do? We can set the Rook because we'll set it now because we might we might be able to do some stuff. Uh, we can normal summon our Ecclese because our Ecclese will search as our second punishment and then we are f completely out of Dogmatica engine. Uh, set punishment. And battle phase. <laughs> pokety, pokety, poke, poke. This is a really good showcase of Dogmatica Hero. <laughs> really good. Good old Ecclese beatdown. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I leave it. We don't want to make we a got construct. A master. Oh, yes. Normal summon Shadow Mist. Now we can do things. Uh, activate Mask Change. Goodbye. Dark Lord? Summon... Or Ank. Summon Anki. Anki this Anki. could go good. Uh, and then we'll use F of Shadow Mist to add uh, Honest Neos. Uh, no. We'll just add Honest Neos. Now we're going to go into... Mm, do we do that first? No, we're going to go into Battle Phase. Going to go Anki Attack. Because Anki needs to destroy... Uh, no. No. Nope, we want to poke that monster. Good choice. It's a C. Uh, then activate Anki F. Add that mask change. He can special one off. We don't care. Add the mask change. Perfect. Uh, now, 
Might as well do two cleaves. Uh, activate. Uh, no, no. Activate. Activate mass change. Okay. Come on. Target. Target Anki. Make it. Make a dark claw. And now we're gonna banish his A, so he can't um, play the game. <laughs> uh, and then attack with. Yeah. Dark attack with him. No. And then attack for three K. And then pass. Uh, chain the schism. The set, the trap. That's it. So I keep thinking. Uh, and act right. activate effect. I keep again. It's called schism. <laughs> and then we what ban it. Uh, we make the window. Yeah, we should have an app cologne and a uh, banish yeah. the Anki, I guess. Just don't banish the dark hole. <laughs> we want to keep that. <laughs> Yay! Try and play you can now. Special ones. Uh yes. We get to banish a card from his hand. Yeah, no, no. on the others. <laughs> bye bye, C. Um, yeah. What's he going to equip? Union driver. Uh, Union driver is going to equip something else. Yeah. Uh, wait for the special on B and then flip um, punishment target the B uh, no and then send the do we have the other Entis in there yeah send the other Entis and then yeah Entis F uh, pop the A goodbye <laughs> Oh, look at all this stuff getting banished. AB, ABC, ABC players can't play when their stuff's banished. Yep. And then that should be game. <laughs> you can't attack with uh, Winder. You can't attack directly. But uh... Yay! Did it, Yay, it did, worked. <laughs> did, 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 did. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, leave us a like down below. Consider subscribing, hit the bell, and leave us a comment down below with A, what you thought of the deck, and B, your idea for your own mashed up Yu-Gi-Oh! profile. Until next time, what is your last word of the video, Ethan? Carbuncle. James out.